Hello, um, this is Louis. Um, I'm a doctor. Most of my practice is in orthopedics. Um, so it's strange that today's topic, I'm going to be speaking against painkillers because most of my practice is pain, pain control and I'm using painkillers on a daily basis on pretty much every prescription. So all of us are aware of uh, the dreaded complications of long-term painkiller use. So everyone knows that it causes renal impairment if you use it for a really long time or um, it pro uh, produces gastric uh, irritation and sometimes ulcers and bleeding, in some cases liver damage. So everyone's aware of these complications but people seem to think that it's harmless to take painkillers even on short term. So I needed to talk to you about that. Um, our tissues, soft tissue and bone, both are composed of a, a structure within them which is made up of collagen. Collagen is a kind of a protein fiber and they are arranged in rows like that. So they're arranged in rows there. And when a tissue is injured and it's starting to heal, new collagen fibers are laid down and then that tissue is made stronger by linking these collagen fibers to each other. This is called cross-linking. And painkillers, especially the NSAIDs, tend to impair cro the cross-linking process. So the tissue will be formed, the healing will happen, but it's going to be less than optimal when it comes to strength. So if um, so, that's the main issue I have with pa using painkillers even for short term. So if you if you've got a minor injury and you you reach for the painkillers automatically, I would ask you to think twice about it. So that's one problem. The second problem with it is that. Pain is a protective reflex and if you have injured a tissue, that tissue needs to be handled with care. Uh, now if you mask the pain using a painkiller, you are going to start handling it a little, a little rougher. And now you are going, you are running a higher risk of injuring that tissue. So that's the second problem with painkillers. So this, this doesn't mean that I am saying don't use painkillers at all, I am saying make sure that you are in pain serious enough to want using painkillers because if you ask your doctor for painkillers he's definitely going to prescribe it because it's that's the easier way out um, and he's not going to deny you pain control or pain relief so if you when can you use painkillers painkillers can be best used on the day of the injury and suppose the pain is severe enough to stop you from sleeping um, yes then it's definitely worth doing or if, if it's the day after the injury and your joint is stiff or the limb is stiff and you want to start moving it slightly early, then before you start putting load on it, you can just for passive movements, you can use the help of a painkiller to reduce the initial spasm and get you moving. Um, so these are the these are the kind of situations you can use short term painkillers. And of course, you have to decide what is the pain that you are going through. And if you can't take it, you are perfectly at liberty to ask for painkillers and your doctor will most pr probably prescribe them. Just be aware that it's not harmless. You have to be aware of all of these options. All of these uh, complications, it's not even a complication, all of these minor issues with short term painkillers also. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Thank you for listening.